good morning or good afternoon to everyone. Uh, it depends from where you are watching this video. I thank you to have taken your precious time during these sensitive periods to, to join us for this new webinar. My name is Jean-Yel Ray, United Old Wrestling Sport Director, and I will try to moderate this, uh, this session. First of all, I would like to take this opportunity to pass my sincere condolences to Mr. Tsenov family. Mr. Tsenov was a, a pillar of our sport in Europe, but also everywhere around the world. So it was an honor to know him and to, to work with him during all these years. To come back to the topic of the day, uh, you certainly know that uh, our international referees have fulfilled a lot of obligations during the year. And uh, because of the, the calendar and how it, it was heavily impacted by this sanitary situation, uh, it was important for us to provide you some information for your international referees. Uh, during this webinar, we'll have uh, the pleasure to follow a presentation of our Chief of the Referring Commission, Mr. Antonio Silvestri. Uh, Mr. Silvestri will provide a lot of information about the status of your international referees uh, for this year, but also for the next one. He will also speak about the upcoming Olympic Games for the one referees. We all know that uh, it's a dream and an objective for each of them. He will also speak about the work of the Referring Commission. Uh, by the way, I would like to say thank you to the Referring Commission for their active work, but also to the Development Department for all the education around the referees. So I also encourage you to ask all the questions that you may have on the Q&A uh, bottom at the bottom of the page. And uh, I'm sure that Antonio will, uh, will answer to some of them at the end of this uh, webinar. But now we have the pleasure to have Mr. Lalovic, our president for this webinar. So I will give him the floor to him if he can switch on his microphone. Good morning. Good day and good evening to everyone. You are probably from different time zones. Um, first of all, I would like to thank you to, to, in taking part in this webinar so heavily. You are 260 participants at this moment, which is a fantastic figure. And this is not the sole webinar. They will be conducted in many different languages later. And this is something that we need and that we together with you developed during this pandemic and we will use this way a fastest cheapest and more efficient maybe way for some issues maybe less efficient for other issues but uh, we will um, in the future be often using this system I would like, uh, again, to thank you for this massive uh, participation. Uh, I would like to thank you for all your letters of condolences of, for our Vice President, Mr. Tsenov, who passed away uh, Sunday evening from an uncurable disease, which was very fastly developing. And um, I would like to say that uh, on the next occasion, when we will be all together, we will uh, uh, observe all the protocol in such cases. Today, it's not really possible. Um, I would like to thank Antonio and the Referee Commission for their devotion and work uh, within the officiating uh, system of the Federation. Uh, I would like to thank you and them for the impartiality that you have shown last year and last maybe two or three years. In your work, impartiality is the most important thing. You have to be proud of your work and we have to be proud of your work. And this is the only important thing in all of this. To achieve that, you have to have the knowledge, skills and experience. And this is 
what the uh, officiating commission, referee commission, to, uh, with its head, uh, Mr. Silvestri, are trying to do. So uh, I will now I will not speak longer, but I just want to thank you and to wish you a good work and good results in the future. Thank you, everyone. I finished, huh? In the future, to develop also the referees and with your support, we have a big chance also for the future to change a lot of things and to come in for our sport in a better way. So um, now, also, we will give warm regards from all referee commission members. We will, we are very happy that we can present our first uh, information for all referees. And we are very happy, also, John Daniel, that you helped us so much uh, for all these details and. We have a lot of questions became in the last weeks and months, and now we hope everybody is with your family very safety and in good health. It is very important in this uh, situation. Uh, before we start, for to give some important information, uh, we are all set about Mr. Zenozenov. He was an excellent person, extraordinary personality. He has a very, very big knowledge of wrestling and we can remember that he every time helped and support all wrestling family, especially uh, the referees. I remember we had a lot of meetings together and he was very smart uh, how referees can be better and also the referee commission. And we will miss him and we will give also our condolences to his family and his wife and all uh, Bulgarian Wrestling Federation. So, as I said, the referee commission have several meetings, several video conferences. And we know that in this special time, we have to work very, very sensitive. We understood that we have our referee body regulation, our standards, but of course, without competition, without tournaments, we cannot run and after and end of the year say, okay, referees, you not attended some competitions. For them, we decided everybody also together and that we say we will maintain our categories. So nobody will be downgraded maybe because he cannot attend some competition. And we understood that and we will support our referee. Nobody has to be worried. So it's very important that we keep as family together and also with my commission i'm very happy that uh, we will found good solution for everybody that means also the new candidates because you know in the referee body regulation we have the age maximum limited 14 years old but now in this situation we have no courses nothing and we cannot say next year sorry you are too late so it's very important that we support also this kind of new candidates that we can prepare and we will allow for next year 21 uh, that the participant can come with 14 years old uh, to the competition but please not send now referees 45 or 48 huh? this is only for this situation for this time uh, in this situation that we will fix that in in the future of course and that mr Lalovic announced in the first webinar when he gave information, we know that in this moment, the technical commission is very working, very hard working about the uh, competition calendar. And um, also we as a referee commission, uh, we are, have also uh, information and we will also help to develop in which way the competition can be started. And you know, we have difference 
in countries, different in continents. So in some continent, they can start to have a training. In some continents, they can start to have maybe a little more. In other uh, countries, it's not allowed to have a training. So um, for us, it's important soon the competition calendar is ready. We will check also our referee courses, our level. This is very important that we can check because now in this moment, we cannot keep our referee courses calendar, what we put in our development department in our webpage. We will find solutions. Maybe we have no big championships, but maybe we can use smaller tournaments for that. Maybe we can uh, found other competition. So the referee commission is working on that. And soon we have the new program from the competition. We will also check for each continent uh, to involve also the referee courses. However, and this is very important, we have to try and offer also enough practice to your referees and it's important not wait until the international competition. We can work also in local competition, in trainings, in seminars. So it's the best practice uh, for our referees to go when it's possible in trainings or when it's possible in local competition. It's not important, senior, junior, can be also uh, cadets or, or children. Important is we cannot wait our wrestler maybe start to have a training and we as referee came and have no practice. So for that it's important. And I think my referees, all referees, or national or international referees, know that, that the best way to training is at home, maybe in your club or in your federation or in local uh, competitions. And I am sure when we start, we can first start only with regional competition. Uh, and then after we can start, I think, in national or international competitions. So also we have to prepare mentality ourselves. And that I mean, and I know uh, for our referees, when you go to competition, so we can prepare every time, not wait, think about it, check your performance. And I know it is very nice now. I saw that a lot of referees, they uh, are sharing videos. They are looking about new situations. So, and uh, I feel that, that the people are waiting. So when start the competition, we will be also ready as referees. And I think that is very nice. And so please prepare positive for your first competition positive to maybe take out all the stress and uh, to prepare for the next steps, what we can work and everybody know that it's possible to do it or learning, learning a lot of things by videos, by teaching, body, uh, uh, referee regulation, rule book, a lot of things. So we can uh, prepare us uh, in this way. And in this, for me as uh, referee, it's every time important. When the rest are ready, as referee, we have to be also ready. And uh, soon uh, United Wrestling give us the green light to start. We have to start also to prepare us and to be ready for the first competition. Because also under Corona, and you will see later, we will have also some uh, changes for our position as a referee. Uh, can I touch the wrestlers? How is maybe uh, the declare of winner, how is the whistle, can I whistle with the old whistle, I have a new whistle, uh, a lot of things uh, that we have to prepare also for us uh, in this situation. So now we will speak also about the Olympic Games and uh, what was very good uh, that we have a program, a program that we said, okay, this is the qualification progress for the Olympic Games in Tokyo, now 21. So. And fortunately, it was very good that we checked all performance from all referees from 1S during our senior continental championship. So we know our performance for this year uh, when we was together in the continental championships. So we know everything, everybody have uh, one test and we saw the practice on the mat. So for that, we must wait and we will continue our Olympic qualification also for 21. So that means when we go next year in the senior continental championships, when we go next year, because we have some continents, they have to uh, 
also do the uh, qualification, uh, continental qualification, and at least the world qualification. So we keep our system uh, in this way that everybody have to attend at least next year these uh, competitions and these qualification tournaments. But and this is a lot of questions are coming asking Mr. Antonio, how is the situation? We will have this year maybe some senior championships, some uh, I have to prepare maybe some weeks or something. So the referee commission discussed and what we want. We want that also our important referees, Olympic referees have a, a special rule. They must continue to have practice. We cannot allow it to say, okay, now one year, you, it's not necessary to work in competition, no. Um, we must go positive and we have to think soon we have the possibility of national competition or international competition or at least maybe we will have one under 23 championship or uh, some something others at least there we have to present also our 1s referees and sure we will be we will pay attention of the situation maybe some country is not allowed to go out so we will not penalize these persons but we want that everybody from 1s when is possible to attend also in this year big competitions and help also to develop our performance because it's very important for our uh, olympic games tokyo 2020 21 that we are everybody will have a, a very nice uh, olympic games and for that also the referees have to prepare and we will work with our 1S referees on this way. So let us wait on the competition calendar and soon we have some information. We will give you more information about that. Also, the commission is working very closely with the development department, technical and medical commission. And it's very nice that we share documents, that we share all information that we are preparing and it's a very, very important thing. First, the safety um, requirement for the first competitions. And I think that can be also used after for the national federations. So that we have to think how we can start the first competition. What are all requirements also from side of referees? Um, as I, we say, we have to check in which way, what kind of competition can take place. Maybe smaller number of participants, very important. We cannot go directly to a competition with 70 or 18 referees with the new Corona problematics that we have to be very, very careful. Maybe we will run competition with less referees. Maybe we have to found how many referees per month we needed. So we will all these documents we prepared, we transferred also to the commissions and we will see um, now the commissions and bureau members will decide it and together we will found solutions also for this kind of situation for all referees. Uh, and we have to understand that we cannot go a lot of referees to competition because the, the securities are, are and duties under Corona are very, very strictly and difficult for them we will also inform when we uh, will present that uh, also about all competitions. There are a lot of questions. How the referee have to work on the mat? Can he touch the wrestler? Can he make shake hands with the wrestler? How he can, how will go the way in? Uh, we will continue the way in with three referees in one scale or only one referee. Yeah? A lot of these kinds, single rooms, double rooms for referees, transportations, a lot of this, a lot of questions we prepared and uh, we have uh, solutions and we will see uh, how we can uh, take a procedure in the future about uh, that. Important, and this is the best chance for the online education now, as our president also said. Um, this is the chance now uh, uh, to prepare our referees and our knowledge, but not only for referees. We saw that for our fans, for our coaches, for everybody, you see, wrestling is so difficult and I think we have to explain maybe our rules better. We will not change the rules, but we have um, to make it better, uh, more transparent, that everybody can understand uh, how the rules work. Because now when we make our tests and see everything we saw, um, we need in this kind of rule book is so big and a lot of questions and a lot of things 
So we will work on that. Um, and that is also a chance, what I see, that we will not make only education during competition. Remember, we, we went to the arena, we make one, two day courses. After the courses, we finished and everybody uh, went home. But now I see a big chance that we can make this better, that we prepare the referee with the online tools, online education, um, that we can prepare it before our referees, because you know a lot of referees are looking for videos, are reading rule book. But when you have more education online, teaching methodics, then after in competition, we can continue. And now it's very important what I saw for a big chance that we can make also after competition for each referee, the feedback, everybody can become also what was good what was what what can be better so in the past we went home and yes maybe mr antonio said something uh, or the instructors but in future there's a big chance that everybody after the competition can see also his results can see oh, what is my next step as a wrestler as a coach that he prepared his um, his wrestler so we can work also as referee that we can prepare individual more and more feedback for uh, referees. And I will thank also the development department for the new education platform that will start in June. And we will also start now in June. Uh, soon we are ready uh, with our education for all, it's very important, for all level, level one to level four. That means for all categories, we will present our um, our, our education education system and maybe it's a good chance also to share with coaches uh, this education methodics. What was very nice, we have uh, we have the also uh, two Kahoot quizzes uh, we created and uh, we received a very very good feedback um, about that. It's very nice that we see that it will be very nice to all fans to come inside wrestling and to see what they are doing. And then uh, I tested also and uh, compliment. It is a great chance to bring our rules better to the person and explain. And for them, I was very happy to see uh, now also a lot of national federations, some instructors, some educators, some other people started to prepare quiz from themselves, uh, to prepare uh, information. Um, and we see that uh, here uh, uh, some countries uh, prepare and start also the online education. I'm very happy that the big countries or smaller countries uh, uh, not are waiting only, they are working. And that it's, it's great for our wrestling family, for our referee development, uh, that we have uh, this kind of um, very, very nice uh, educators and, and instructors that they are working and that we will continue. And for us, it's very important. When you have in your national federation, when you have some kind of these uh, situations or good feedback, please give us to the referee commission. We will put it also on our website. We will support it. And now our next step from United World Wrestling, uh, together with the um, education department, they will start now for national federations. They are starting now for uh, national referees also, the scoring points to explain rules and the, for the international referees, the UWE Referee Commission will also start soon the webinars or the, all this kind of information uh, for re online referee courses with video, with test, with languages, uh, but not um, that we will make pressure on our, our referees, no, to explain the rules, to do it better, and everything to do that in a, in a better way for our wrestling. What the referee commission did more, and it's very important. Now is the time to check also the rule book. Not to change the rules, but to understand how we can make it smarter, how we can um, uh, make more information for the rules. Because sometimes in one article is written some words, in the other article can be maybe uh, other uh, situation. So we will uh, modify that uh, uh, for our referees when we have to give caution. So maybe more and more that it's, it's easier to read it and to work it. What we can propose for our referees and what we will do, uh, the referee commission decide also 
we will um, make a better analysis of our challenges. So, because now we write our challenges, but after competition will be also very good to see how the challenges were successful, which problems, which situations we have, was fleeing the mat, step out, or cautions. So, also to analyze better the challenge sheets and the challenge analysis. Also, uh, we will uh, check uh, and prepare documents for a better referee mechanism. Uh, our um, hand signals, when you see in our rule book, it's not clear really then uh, which hand signals we use. And that we will also maybe start on then uh, procedure to prepare that, that it's uh, very nice to see uh, the referees uh, have, um, have a, a platform or see which is the correct hand signals for uh, everybody. So for them, we have a lot of duties to do now. We are starting, we are working. And I hope that we can give all these uh, documents soon as possible, that everybody will see that and everybody can work, not only international referees, also some national federations. And also for us, it's very important, maybe the head referees of the countries, when they need documents or when they need help, please together with the education department and the referee commission, we can support you in your work and we can share for you special videos, special documents for uh, the future and that uh, we will do for our sport better and better. So I think I have a lot of information and uh, I'm sure that you have a lot of other question. Um, now, in my opinion, maybe it's a good chance um, to question and answers, maybe when it's possible, also by email, uh, and you will transfer to us uh, these emails or maybe John Daniel have also some uh, information from the chat or first question and it's very important the attitude is a big chance to uh, change and for the future we will keep together as a referee commission as wrestling family and we will prepare us for the future in a good way. So John Daniel we have some questions or some information. Yes. So I just I just wanted to uh, give you some small information. As I said, I saw that a lot of people raised their hands during the meeting. So now, now it's the perfect time to ask the questions. I already see that there is some questions that are coming. So Antonio, I, I will try to reply to the first one because it's more like technical ones. So Annie, Annie asked about the, the CAUT quiz that should be open for, for, for more people. So you're right. At the moment, we have only like 1,000 people that can attend and participate to the quiz. So the explanation is quite simple. From 1,000 people, it's free. So first, we wanted to test it, to try and see if we, we reach a lot of people. It seems, at, as uh, Mr. Silvestri said, that it's the case. It's very popular. So for sure, we'll try to to see if we can if we can just uh, uh, take the license to, to to be able to 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 increase the numbers. But as Antonio said, like today we the second quiz was uh, uploaded on the on the social media, and we also restarted the first quiz. So for the ones who didn't had the opportunity to 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 to, to try the first quiz, it's uh, still available now at the moment. So about the other questions, uh, Michael Faller asked if uh, we can open the screen to see all the referees from all over the world. Thank you for your question, Michael. I know that uh, all your colleagues of referees <laughs> miss you, <laughs> but uh, unfortunately it's a webinar, so the videos are, are blocked for the participants. Unfortunately, we cannot see uh, all, of, all of you, but uh, if, if you want to organize a meeting, uh, it can be done also. So that's the, for the two first questions. Um, about the Mr. Davor Petanjek, uh, he say congratulations to United of Wrestling Referee Commissions and the Sport Department for his great initiative and improvement in communication by using new technologies. So it's fine. Thanks a lot, Davor. Let me see if we have other questions. One person from Russia, I guess, 
Thanks. Antonio? Antonio, maybe, maybe you want to reply to that question. So basically, um, Feloda asked if some referees turned 16 year, 60 years old this year, a plan of how well, due to the corona, they could not participate at the competition and retire. Will they be allowed to participate next year also to retire properly? In my opinion, I will spoke also with the commission and we have to do that because maybe some referees did 35 years for referees and I want it, please, that we give the chance also to this kind of person to participate in one competition. Maybe we can make a ceremony or something about that. Not all the year, but we will found maybe the possibility to make a very nice ceremony for this kind of persons because we have to respect not only the young generations, especially our teachers, our, our older referees and sure, please, but will be coordinated for me. It's very important that maybe with your federation, uh, they will send us a proposal. Uh, I will make a good example, Regine, Regine Leclerc. Le yes, she was a long years referees, a lot of Olympic games and maybe together with the uh, federation and United Wrestling, we will prepare a, a very nice ceremony. Not that we came and no, we have nothing, we have, that we will, will be not be happened. I want, please communicate with us and we will do it with the referee commission together with a, one very nice ceremony for this kind of people. I have another question from uh, Georgi Sredkov. So he asked if there are competitions this year, will there be different types of referee schools but also candidate referee schools. So is it something uh, scheduled or already discussed by the commission, Antonio? Yes, we will see how maybe we maybe change now our courses. Maybe we have now maybe level one, level two. We will see, maybe we use smaller tournaments, but it's too too early to spoke about that when we may, may not know how is the competition calendar. But we will found which kind of level we can make together or, or we, will, we will check about that soon. The competition calendar is, is ready. So another one from uh, Hassan Salman, ask uh, Antonio if it's possible to get your presentation, uh, your presentation uh, directly. Sure, we can give that. Uh, I will also say thank you to my colleague Kamel Boasis. He translated also in French and we will give that in English, French. We can give to the sport departments. We can, uh, uh, and for us it's important that I know in this moment a lot of referees are also working. I became a lot of uh, emails. They excuse Mr. Antonio, sorry, we cannot attend because now we are working. So we will uh, give our presentation. Uh, for all federations and we will work with transparency that everybody can follow it, okay? Uh, to uh, also to, um, to reply to these questions about the, this webinar, just to let you know that it's recorded. I yes. used one question at the beginning of the webinar asking if uh, the, 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 the webinar will be available later, so yes. Uh, everything is recorded and uh, every feder national federation will receive the, the link to, 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 to this video. So just, just uh, contact your wrestling federation for, for, for the link. We have other questions. Thanks. It's very active. That's good. So Annie asks if uh, United Wrestling is planning to organize referring seminar for different referring level via Zoom. By example, what uh, Zach did for the education. Yes, with Ibrahim, we are and at my uh, also referee commission. We want for different level also prepare Zoom meetings now. Yes, we was only waiting because we not wanted to use some platform. We will we'll use the original United Wrestling platform, and we became now the link. And soon as possible, we will check and put also uh, different level online courses for each uh, level in in. Uh, we have a lot of documents, they are ready. We have to only uh, present it and, and also in different languages possible because we have also a, lot of, uh, uh, also a lot of educators and instructors and we can do that also uh, sometimes in different uh, languages. 
Another good, uh, I don't think that it's a question, but it's a really good note from Willem. So um, he's, he speaks about the CAUT uh, quiz and uh, he asks if it would be possible, like after the quiz, when the quiz will finish, to explain, yeah. uh, to explain the, the answers to, to all of us if people uh, are doing wrong, like get the wrong answers. Yes. Sure, we saw two things. First, what we saw, first, maybe we have to prepare before the Kahoots, because we have a lot of resting fans also, maybe to prepare some information that we working now today, we will make about fouls. Tomorrow, maybe about step out some informations. Then when you have these two, three minutes and you can see the rule book and this more information, then you start the Kahoots. And after them, I'm absolutely agreed that we have to also present correct answers to understand why uh, we are giving 2-2 two, two or this kind of scoring because the people uh, sometimes it's very difficult yes and we have to explain after with the rule book why we decided these scoring points but as you said John Daniel we started very quickly for us it was also the first start and you know each start have some mistakes or I was also working sometimes I said oh 30 seconds or one minute maybe it's it's not long, yeah? so maybe we will work on that. And, and uh, I'm sure, uh, and please also, when you have this kind of information that you want, please send us, we will work on that because without information, we not know where are our problems. Good, so I have some uh, thanks from uh, Shiner Vaclav for, the, for Antonio and the development of uh, the refereeing. Omer Saba asks, what is the position of the wrestling referee who did not pay the subscription before the end of the year? So we will see what, what uh, we have to discuss that with sport department and we will see everything about that because we know also the financial problems now in countries and we will see about that, but we have to decide this together also with approval for our members and we will found with the commission. No, it's uh, to say how we can found. Maybe there is a good explanation how they can, why it is this happened, and then we can found uh, also some some good information and we will found a solution. So there is also one question from Sundabu Tolpla. Uh, I think you already mentioned that during your presentation, but uh, if any referee not attended in this year in the international competition, the license will be cancelled for future or not? No. As we said, so maybe we said, maybe one referee, uh, he must participate in one or two tournaments in a year, yes? So without tournament, how he can go? Eh? So for them, we will keep his category, but in the next year, when Corona will be allowed, then we have to attend in the next year competitions. But we will look, that's for us very important. Please contact also your uh, instructors from your continents because they know better all situation, what is happening in Asia, what is happening in Africa, because we can only coordinate everything when we have all information from everybody, okay? So we will find out and we have to prepare that. Uh, and I think when we see uh, the calendar is open, when we see in the next one, two months more information, we will maybe also prepare one letter, uh, because to say how we can follow that in future for everybody, okay? Now important is that we keep together and we will not, nobody penalize in this moment, okay? So there is one question from Hassan Salman. <clears throat> he asked, is there any plan to change medical examination procedure or required medical certificate in order to start the competition in near future? I think there are a lot of questions with the medical commission. I, as I mentioned, we are working uh, very, very close. And I know all the technical commission will have all that and we will see how we can uh, follow that. And this moment, we will see how can be the procedure, the way in the medical certification. We must check everything. And I think that will be done when every documents are together. And then the technical commission with the referee commission and medical commission we found a solution for that and give information to all federations. 
There is one, one, one uh, interesting comment from Abraham Vassalo, a referee from Malta. Uh, he just said that uh, thanks for these new ideas for small countries like Malta, where our resources are limited and finances too. This way help us learn more and keep in contact and attend all meetings needed. Thank you for putting us all on the same level of opportunities. And that's also another question. I try to find her. So, let me see. I lost the question. Ah, yes, there is another question from uh, Usman Yusuf from Nigeria who asked if you have any uh, idea how to promote the, the, the refereeing in their parts of, the, of Africa because there is only few referees from, from that region. Yes, we are starting to work with DECA from Development Department and also um, we are working to have a plan how we can maybe prepare more referees. When I attended my last uh, competition in uh, Africa, in, uh, it was in Tunis, uh, I saw in last year, there was a very, very nice, good referees uh, from small countries. So we have to think how we can prepare from this, for that person, better, better development. So that it's sometimes it's for them very hard. They have no money for the wrestlers. How they can give money for the referees? And we have to find solutions for them. And, uh, and I know Nigeria is a good example. Uh, they have very, very good wrestlers. Uh, and uh, also we have to encourage them to prepare for their countries. And then we see now we're coming for the Yaos Olympic Games. Yes, also the next uh, Yaos Olympic will be also in, in Senegal. So for them, we are looking how we can prepare with the Federation uh, together. Maybe um, it was a good proposal not put all continent together, maybe separate the continent, uh, South Africa, North Africa, to find about that, how we can develop this kind of, of referees and, and develop uh, this situation in these countries. Another question from Luai. Um, for upcoming referees who would like to take part in the International Referee Certification Course in 2021, is there any online theoretical course available for such new referees? So this is our plan, but we are working to the referee commission and development department that we can say we start with the national level. Yes. And that is what, what we need in future that the referees not came for the first level and we have to start from beginning. No, maybe that we give online courses before uh, standards, scoring points, standards, uh, situations and then they can prepare language tests, they can prepare first video scoring points and then with them they can come uh, to the competitions. Um, in this moment I have to speak with the development department, I think but soon will be ready also this kind uh, of, of situation that we can give documents, online education, online videos, online questions, online quiz, online tests for this kind of uh, persons. Um, in the time, as I was in, in, in Germany, head referee, we have also a lot of, of good program, and we have this program also for United Wrestling now, national referees to international referees, and I know my colleagues worked very hard on them, and we have to only do it and uh, online. There is one other question, Antonio, uh, from uh, Lenovo, uh, from Tunisia. Uh, he wants to know if, uh, if he is called from the Federation to, to be national coach, if he will lose his international uh, category as referee. We have, um, we have a rule, it was decided by the Bureau members, and that referees with category 1S or referee with category 1, they cannot be in same time as coaches. We must understand, because I can say what was happened, in big competition, Sometimes they sit outside as coach and they are also international referees and they complain to the referees and that is not good for our sport. So for them, it's very important that we say, we are happy that we have coaches, that we have referees, but on the highest way, we have also to decide I am head coach or I am Olympic referee. So I think that will be, cannot be together 
that one one time I am for the uh, one style coach and after I'm sitting on the corner. Uh, this is a conflict and that is not good, but I will encourage every referee also to work in to work and it's the best for us when you are wrestler or you was coach that you have practice. But during competition we have to separate this to not have conflicts. There is one question from uh, Anastasia Midipi, but I, I can reply to that one. So she asked if there is uh, uh, information about competition that will be available anywhere in the world. Can we be notified? For sure. So as Antonio already explained that, now the technical commissions are working about the, on the calendar for, for next year and the end of this year. And as soon as uh, the final decision will be uh, approved by the bureau members, we will, we will, of course, inform all the national wrestling federations. Another question uh, for you, Antonio. Nasser Forotan asks if this kind of webinar will be continued. Yes, sure. So uh, I was waiting every time and we are ready. We, are, we want to, to, to start from every commission side and we will continue. Uh, or with the platform, or we start with UE webinar, and I know my referee commission are ready. We won't start, and now I will open. And soon, with dates and all documents, we will send to our federation. And please, also, all our resting referees friends are invited to participate. I just, I was just reading one other comment about the next webinar. Uh, so one, one person just tell us that we should, we should inform the, the, everybody maybe earlier, it, it's right. Uh, uh, we, we, we will uh, schedule this webinar in advance for the next times, but uh, that one was, let's say, urgent because, because uh, we wanted to provide you all the necessary information for your reference. So there is plenty of questions. I think that uh, Antonio yeah. <laughs> already replied to a lot of them. But I think we can start the competition. Then we will bring results on the mat. It's the best way, yeah? <laughs> exactly. So just, just one last point about yeah. that. We received a lot of comments and notes and proposals. So we all, you know that the sports department, but also the referring commission, Mr. Silvestri, we are available. You have our email addresses. So if you have any proposal, comments, or suggestions, don't hesitate to just send us that by email and for sure, we will, we will reply to it. So, Antonio, I let you finish this, uh, this webinar. I don't know if you have last words to say. Yes, thank you very much. I'm very surprised about the participants, a lot of participants we have on this meeting, and a lot of very nice questions and very good information. And it seems that's very important and interesting that we have to continue our work. I wish all referees, all national federation, be safe, be healthy, good luck, and let us start as referees and wrestlers together and in the future, and we are ready for the first competition. I wish everybody, everything, the best regards, best warmly greetings from my side, also to our president, Mr. Nenad Lalovic, to the, uh, for you, John Daniel, uh, that you support us so much. Thank you very much, and have everybody a nice evening or nice day or nice afternoon, and good luck. See you soon, my friends. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Ciao.